You better get ready. Today's a real doozy. What's going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, I've got nine mods for you for all platforms. We've got two new and two updates, and for PC and Mac, we've got one new and four updates. Let's check it out. First up today for all platforms, we have the Bell Trailer Den Gravel. The Bell Trailer Den Gravel is a universal transport trailer used for square or round bells or even pallets as well. This is a non-auto loading trailer, so whatever you want to put on here, really, it's it's a trailer and it's got tons, I mean tons, of straps on here. I mean all the way from the front to the very back. And we have a few customization options as well. So let's jump in, check those out. Let's go into tools. Let's go into bailing technology. And here it is on the left hand side for $15,100 starting off. Boom, let's jump in, check it out. Well, that doesn't look anything like what we've got because we've got customization. Oh yeah, design, no extensions, front extension, back extension and extension Z. <laughs> it's got both of them there it also puts the name on it that is pretty darn cool front and the back yep front and the back otherwise that is it there's no trailer hitch so you're not going to be hitching this up to anything it just is what it is if you want all those extensions those are 800 bucks a pop 1600 dollars for both being a grand total to sixteen thousand seven hundred dollars if you want to go all the way. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Pavelli Pack. This is a Pavelli RAT 200 trailer. It's ideal for transporting of round bells and square bells, but it is also possible to transport vehicles and objects as well with it. With the auto load version, the straps are not hooked, but the bells remain blocked by the script. Use the, the uh, strap script, unload the bells on the trailer, and hook the straps. There you go. You've got all that going for you. I will tell you this right now, on PC, there's one trailer. I'm pretty sure there's four different trailers, maybe two different trailers on console, but I know on PC it's just one, and it just figures out what you want to do and loads them up there. I've only been able to find one, but that's so cool, isn't it? Oh, man, that's awesome. So if you want to, you can load 44 round bells not in stack, 42 round bells in stack, 40 square bells, and 24 big square bells. So let's jump in check this out. Where are you going to find this? Well, it's going to be found in tools, going to be found in bailing technology, or you can just go into Bavali. Boom, right here, 30 grand jump in again we're on pc today so that's what we're going to be showing off again if you're on console these are going to be very similar it's just going to say you know um round bells in, not in stack round bells in stack square bells square bells big and multiple versions there wheel brands we have trelleborg and we have lizard in trelleborg we have wide tires and wide tires and in lizard we have normal or narrow and narrow what this is is these are going back and forth between the galvanized steel and more of a just a like a gray steel look so you've got both of those. I'll tell you what, these trailer board tires look really, really good. Tell you what, DD Mod Passion did a fantastic job on this mod. But like I said, otherwise, it's just a normal auto loading trailer, but it's going to be really cool. Oh, you got to check this out. This is neat. Moving into mod updates for all platforms. First up today, we have the Valzelli Multi Wheels 250, Change Log 1.1, added new dirt specular, and added the manure system hoses. Now, this update is for all platforms, but. That update for the manure system hoses is only going to work on PC. And your last mod update for all platforms today is the SDF Group Weight. This right here, changelog 1.1, improved the normal map and specular. Moving into mods for PC and Mac players today, we've only got one brand new mod for you. This is the Meyer Weight Package. Whoop, I'm set up like I'm doing a, uh, the, the beginning of the video. There you go, the Meyer Weight Package. So Meyer steel weights are characterized by stable design and steel compact dimensions. So we've got a couple different ones to show out for you today. And let's jump in and take a look. Let's go into tools. Let's jump into weights. And we're going to be going a little bit of a ways, depending on if you're like me and you've got every single mod in the game installed, um, or maybe not. So here you go. We have the HD1500, we have the KB80, we have the KB145, and we have the UF800. Now, starting over here with the uh, the KB800, this is an 800 kilogram basis weight, can be ballast weight with the additional 250 kilogram to the KB105. So that is pretty cool there. So we have the KB145. This is a 1,450 
kilogram front weight or whatever you want to put on, you put it on the back as well, um, and can be added to a 450 kilogram um, to make it the KB190. And then you have the UF800. This is an 800 kilogram basis weight, and you can be equipped with light and reflector strips. And of course, we have the HG1500 down here as well. This is a 1500 kilogram weight. So if we jump in, no customization for this bad boy right here, but it does look pretty good, doesn't it? And then we move over here to the Meyer KB80. Now, with this with standard, or you could do the extra weight as well, or you could do it really fast and go back and forth really fast and make a jump. Then we have the KB145. Add that up, and it turns into the, uh, what was it, the 190 right there. So, again, make it jump. <laughs> And then you got this bad boy right here. This one's more for uh, decoration, all that good stuff. It's not really that heavy. It's just 800 kilograms, but it does look very nice. And that is the one that we've got installed right there. Moving into updates for PC and Mac players today. First up, we have Packla Campaign. Changelog 1.001 console release. So if you're on console and you want the Packla Campaign, well... Now you've got it. And the same story around the Connor SS900. Changelog 1.001 console release. So that is fantastic as well. Interestingly enough, though, both of these mods are only showing PC on the uh, on the website. So if you guys are on console, let me know. Do you have these mods? Your next to last mod update for PC and Mac players today is manual attach. Changelog 1.1 performance improvements. Add in more blockage of functions when hoses are not connected. Fix the double attack possibility, allowing detaching of vehicles that are turned on by lowering. Fix the issue with the hoses on the Anderson M160. Fix a PTO attached state on save game load. Fixed issue with some tools sometimes not being detected, so front loader tools especially. And added the attached detach sounds for PTO and hoses. And your last mod update today, the Baylor add-on by DD Mod Passion. Changehog 2 added twine for balers for the square bales, added support for the ZSZ pack, and removed the support for the straw harvest add-on DLC, because as you know, it uses its own proprietary stuff. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the Gohan fam, make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a new mod video or daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I have changed up my mod, or the microphone setup rather. If you like the way it sounds, let me know. If you don't like the way it sounds, let me know as well. Um, again, I'm going back and forth trying a few different things. I'm gonna try something else for farm some news and something completely different for the live stream today. So, let me know what you think. Otherwise, hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!